Hi, welcome to everyone. I am Sheikh Jalil Kamruddin, uh, student of uh, Dr. Babasa Medical Maratwala University. I am, uh, first of all, I would like to thank to everyone for conducting this uh, marvelous, uh, uh, performing this marvelous job during this pandemic period and conducting this uh, pre PhD coursework and successfully uh, uh, contribution for the each and every coordinator. I would like to thank to Dr. Bakur Shinte for uh, guiding the chemistry students uh, regularly and all the coordinators and the faculty members. Uh, so I, my topic of the presentation is uh, analytical HPLC method development using the quality by design approach. So quality by design approach is the most important uh, aspects of the analytical chemistry. So aim of the, my work is uh, uh, to develop a simple uh, procedure which can be utilized for the regular basis uh, for the quality control laboratories or the any user across the world. So that is the aim of the my method and the cost also should be um, uh, less and the method should be precise, accurate and triggered. Uh, and, and the runtime also should be uh, small so that everybody can finish their analysis and uh, within a short span of time and then uh, it perform the validations of the procedure. The work plan which I have was uh, evaluated for this. Uh, so I've gone through the rigorous literature search for the my, my work and uh, I came across the, some uh, selection of some molecule which is having some non novel molecule some combination of the drug products and some of the uh, molecules which is not having the any existing procedure in the any uh, monograph or publications. So uh, I will develop a very good uh, procedure and I was uh, in the progress also. And uh, after completion of that, I will perform the validations. And um, uh, so here I would like to show the QBD workflow. So what is the quality by design? So in general way, that it was a traditional approach for the method development, like error trial and error basis. But this QBD approach provide us and a systematic guidance for the more proceed, uh, proceeding further. So it involves the different three stages. First is a screening phase. So in this phase, we have to uh, screen different three columns, three mobile phase, three buffers, and uh, two solvents. So after this screening phase, from this we will generate the 18 experiments and we will select the best eight, uh, best experiment from this 18 experiment and we'll proceed for the optimization further. Then we'll uh, perform the gradient changes over there uh, with the different temperatures and then uh, we will uh, perform, uh, we'll go to the phase three, where in the phase three, we will perform the degradation studies uh, in order to check any un unknown degradation impurities coming near to our uh, known impurities. And if that comes also, we'll perform the separation of that and then we'll finalize the procedure. And this, based on this finalized procedure, we'll uh, uh, generate a uh, design space. Uh, uh, so this design space will provide us an idea. So how the, what is the range of the method where it is perf uh, perfectly uh, suitable and what are the optimum changes that we can perform within the uh, particular range uh, so that the method we need not to optimize again. So this is the advantage of the design space. And then we'll go for the validation. So uh, outcome of this uh, approach uh, and the QBD is uh, the, uh, we will get an, a very good robust procedure and which is uh, applicable throughout the life cycle management of the drug product. So till the existence in the market and there will be a re regulatory flexibility and as per the recurrent reg regulatory norms and requirements, it will be fulfilled. And if during the future, if any unknown impurities we observed, so there is a scope to change the procedure to uh, move within the design space of the robustness what we have generated. And then we need not to again uh, redevelop or validate the procedure within that particular design space. We can perform the our um, analysis in future as well. So here I was generated the, some data for my methods, which I was uh, developed. So linearity I was performed for the impurities, uh, including the sample also. And I, it was with, within the acceptance range of correlation coefficient. And uh, I have also performed the accuracy study for the impurities. And those also found to be within the 
particular limit and that accuracy I was performed from LOQ to 150% of specification range. And in conclusion of that, the method is found to be a very good linear and accurate for the given impurity for the quantitative analysis in the regular uh, routine laboratories. And um, so I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity and for your kind support and fabulous job done. Thank you very much.